In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to change the date and time on a Chromebook. Your Chromebook should automatically change itself to the correct time for your current time zone based on your Wi-Fi connection. But if for some reason it's not doing that correctly, or you specifically want to set it to a different time, you can go into the settings and manually change the time zone to any time zone you want. All you need to do is open up the settings app and the easiest way to do that is to come down here and click on the time in the bottom right hand corner. It might be the wrong time for you right now, but click on the time and then click on this little settings icon in this menu that appears here to pull up the settings app. There's other ways you can do it, but to me prefers this way. Then in this left hand menu here, scroll down to the second option from the bottom called system preferences and click on system preferences here. And now you'll see a whole lot of system preferences. And one of the options near the top will be date and time. So you have time zone, and you can also switch between 24 hour and 12 hour clock. So you can set 24 hours or not 24 hours if you want really just personal preference there. But to actually change the real time on your Chromebook, you need to click on time zone here. And now you'll be in the actual time zone settings. And you should probably see it set to set automatically. Use your IP address to determine location. So that means your Chromebook will just connect to the internet and then use your IP address to figure out roughly where you are in the world. And then it should know how to set your time. So that should work. But if it isn't working, what you can do is set it to choose from list. And now you can click on this drop down menu here and basically choose from a list of every time zone in the world. So they're ordered by time. So we have plus 14 hours UTC at the bottom and then plus 13 and so on. And if we scroll all the way to the top, we have minus 11 hours UTC up here. So you can really just scroll through until you find the correct time for the time zone that you want to set it to. And it'll usually say next to it sort of what the time zone is. So UTC minus five is Central Daylight Time Chicago. So if you're in or near Chicago, that's probably what you wanna do. And if you're not sure what time zone you want, the best option is to really just pull up Google. And let's say you're in New York. If you're in New York, you'll probably find New York on the drop down menu. But Timmy's going to use New York as an example. If you're in a smaller town, you could type whatever that is. But you'll just type name of the town or city and time zone or something. So like New York time zone. And then it should tell us somewhere here. Here we go, GMT minus four. So now we know exactly what time zone that's in. We can come back to our drop down menu here, scroll up to the top, minus five, minus four here. So we Columbia, Peru, and New York here. So New York, Eastern Daylight Time, we can click on that and now it will be set to this time zone. So now, as you can see, the time is 6.49 p.m. on the 13th of April. So now your Chromebook will be showing the correct time and date for this time zone. So it'll be correct down here, which is probably really your main concern. And also in the files app, when it shows you what time and date files were edited and things like that, all of that will be working off this time zone that you set. And if you ever want to change it more, maybe you change it to minus six, now it's 450. So you can really do whatever you need to do like that, choose any time zone you want. Unfortunately, you can't exactly set it to 10, 15 PM or something very specifically. You have to pick a real time zone and let it connect to that. But it does mean you can choose any time zone in the world if you specifically want it to be in that time zone or if it's just not working quite right with set automatically. But 
That's all there is to it. That's how you can set the date and time on your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.